Hello there guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sal speaking. Today I would like to talk with you about Shaolin monks in reality. Most martial artists are familiar with the extraordinary powers of Shaolin monks. They are famous all over the world, but not many people know the reality about them. They train in the use of, can you believe it, 36 weapons. They get to pick two styles since they study the movements of animals. So they get to pick two styles and they specialize in it. So if you want to be a monk, you need to be tested. You go to the temple, you need to be tested and eventually accepted. So at what age is the student at the Shaolin temple tested? Believe it or not, it's from age 3 and up. As soon as they get to the temple, there is a test awaiting them. The test is not determined by age, but rather when the master feels you're ready for it. The test is divided into parts. The first part is the physical part, and believe it or not, that's the shortest part of the test. The longest part of the test includes questions about life. The monks will ask lots of questions to the new students and they're gonna be a type of questions that are somewhat philosophical. So they will ask them what they think about life, what's their view about life. And this is very interesting and, I'm, and I really like the idea, but also I ask to myself, what would a three-year-old baby you know, reply to questions such as what's the purpose of life and what's your view of life, what do they know about it? It is interesting to know though that although most monks are, are very young, there's, there are many monks who are around about their 20s, but still they have the physical appearance of a 20 year old boy, but the mind of a wise old man. As you know, Shaolin monks have boundless energy. They're really strong, they're full of energy. As you know, they don't eat meat. So where do they get the proteins from? Well, the proteins come from tofu, milk, beans, and nuts. I made a video about Shaolin monks daily schedule, so you can see this in the link below. Please click on the link to know more about their schedule. What is the Shaolin monks schedule as they grow up in the temple? It is interesting to know that Shaolin monks are vegetarian. They get up at 5.30 in the morning each morning. As soon as they get up, they start their chanting. They have breakfast and they eat a soup of beans called the Eight Treasures. After the soup, they will have chanting again and then half hour break. After the break they will start training for two hours in the Kung Fu. During this two hour training they will train in different styles and they will change style every 10 minutes. After practice, as soon as they finish training, there will be more chanting until around about 11.30 am. So it is lunch time, 11.30 they will eat from five to six different types of vegetables and they will put tofu and rice with it. The monks don't drink any liquids with their meals because they think that drinking doesn't help with their digestion. Lunch finishes around about 12.30 and at 12.30 they will start chanting again. After this chanting again, the monks finally get a two hour break and I'm sure they're looking forward to this break. During the break the monks can relax, they can nap or they can even meditate. But guess what? Right about 3 p.m. another Kung Fu training session of two hours starts again. It is a continual training, a non-stop training to the mind, the soul and the body.
So they finish training around about 5 p.m. And after the witch, there is no chanting, but they don't sing out of respect for the dead people. So for dinner around about 5.30, noodles are served with bread for dinner. The bread, the type of bread that the monks eat are made out of black wheat and yellow wheat. Once the dinner is finished, around about 6.30 p.m. is the time for heart sutra chanting. This, this will last for about one hour. The monks call it the heart of the universe, the very center of the universe. This is a specific moment for them to meditate about life. So around about 8 p.m. they have a two hours long meditation. Meditate and meditate and meditate. After the which, around about 10 p.m. they finally go to bed. And they are aware that the next morning, another day is waiting for them. Another day of struggles, hard work and meditation. use in order to train children to help them train properly and help them focus properly as they train. Well the monks don't use harsh words because they believe that such words can scar a person for life. Even physical punishment can be forgotten within a few days. So the monks help these children to practice at their best, to do their best, they focus on them as people and they try to help them out and become a real monk. So you may wonder, are there any illness or injuries during the practices? Because these people seem to be so strong as men, they seem to be perfect, they seem that nothing can destroy them or harm them. But this is not the case. Western medicine is not used. They have their own hospitals. The only thing that is used by the monks is the technology. The monks believe that meditation enables the progress of the brain and therefore every two weeks they go to the hospital and they use the EEG testing. We have heard that there are great masters inside the temple, inside the Shaolin temples. Is this just a legend or is this still a reality today? Well, some monks believe that masters, the Shaolin masters are not as powerful today due to technology, specifically due to, to satellite, Wi-Fi, radio and even television signals. Because of this, they think that masters today are around about 15% less powerful than back in the days. I believe that there is a little bit of truth in this statement, in this uh, belief, if we can say this. I believe that today te technology is not helping us as much. What can a monk do in order to advance in his path? Well, monks believe that being unselfish is a great key also to love and to do acts of kindness. And so they pray a lot, they practice a lot. And so they are convinced, they are like truly convinced that daily practice in, enhances their wisdom. That wisdom brings advancement every day. They are firm believers of the fact that pain brings growth. 
and that's how we learn. Well, you know, I believe in this too. I believe that the experiences of life help us to grow, to develop ourselves. I've been thinking about, I've been thinking lately that we all are batteries. You know, we're like batteries. We have a, a positive part, in, like a positive pole and a negative pole. Without a negative pole, the battery itself wouldn't work. And so in the same way in life, without the negative and the positive together, and without the perfect balance between the two, the positive and the negative, we cannot produce enough power. This is a personal thought, of course, but I believe this is quite cool, and this will help you out if you're struggling with something in life. The awareness of the fact that positive and negative are a part of life and that we can learn and grow from our experiences. It is interesting how the Shaolin monks train so hard every day and it is really hard to explain how they don't really get tired during the training. So why is that? Why is that possible? The reason why is probably because they don't have a meaningless program running through their heads. So basically inside the temple there are two kind of people. There are those monks, there are those monks who believe in staying in the temple for the rest of their lives and they will never ever get married. But there's another part of monks who will eventually leave the temple and get and go in the real world and they will spread their wisdom, their experience, they will probably teach and eventually get married too. I wanted to make this little video just to bring a little bit of more light about the topic of Shaolin monks. There's a lot to learn from these people who, are, who come from a different part of the world, from another planet, another world that is so far away from us but still so close. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching and remember, if you feel sad, you better call Sal. Bye bye.